Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com. Happy Thursday, coming at you with 2122 Panini Mosaic Road to FIFA World Cup Soccer, a three box random team break with an early bird giveaway. This is break number one. You can see the next one's already in the store. If you are one of the first 12 spots purchased, you can see that circled right there, you get a chance to win an extra spot. The early bird gets the worm. So here's the first 12 right here. And name on top after eight. Three and a five, eight times, we'll get the extra spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Simon, congrats to you. After eight times, you were the early bird that gets the delicious, delicious worm. All right, now, 17 spot break. Let's grab everybody's names again. There's all the countries right there. Some of them comboed up. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and countries. Five and a five, ten the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five and a five, ten the hard way. Chase down to chase. Five and a five, ten times for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good luck, 10th and final time. After 10, we got the United States on top, down to Belgium on the bottom. So there you go, Chad with the United States, Simon with Brazil, Josh with Uruguay, Peru, and Ecuador, Robert with the three lines, England. James with Italy and Austria. Kevin with Mexico and Chile. Mark with Germany. Todd with Norway. Simon with your early bird spot, the Netherlands-Australia combo. Chase with Denmark, Croatia, Switzerland. Brian with Spain. Chase with Argentina. Bernard with uh, Poland, Colombia, and Qatar. Chase with Portugal. Brian with Le Bleu, France. Thomas with Wales, Sweden, Venezuela. And Chase with Belgium. All right, so let's alphabetize by, by country right here. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have that three-box break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. So no deals were done, so that list right here remains the same. Here on Thursday the 6th, October the 6th. October already? This is three box random team number one, the next three box random team break in the store right now. Uh, I believe all cards ship in this. Yeah, all cards ship and it's from a fresh case. Let's see which boxes we're gonna do here. All right, so uh, let's here's how we'll do it here. We'll do those three will be one, those three will be two. That's three, and that's four on the dice roll. If I roll a five or a six, I'll just roll again. So upper left, one, upper right, two, three, four. That's easy. One, so these three boxes up here. So let me put the die right on top of there. So the, these will be, so we're working from the same case. I'll write RT for random team on here. And we may just grab three random boxes from the just from this stack. Or maybe we'll do a dice roll, I don't know, just depends on depends on how we feel.
Great. And once again, the next three boxes are in the store now. Looking for ultra rare stained glass and overdrive inserts. One autograph per box. That's what we're looking for here. We're on the road to the World Cup. Box one, good luck. Now, as I've been saying in the previous videos um, for the soccer, always worth a, uh, you know, all cards ship, but when you get those rookie cards, always worth taking a look at those rookies. And, Seeing if they're uh, do a little research, see if they can end up on a starting lineup in the starting eleven for their respective teams. That's right, on the road to the World Cup. Keep your eye on the road to the World Cup. This guy's on Liverpool. He's been fun to watch, Luis Diaz. Lewandowski, Jao Felix. An all card ship, of course. Yeah, so like look at this guy. You know, see see uh, see where he's at on the squad. And, you know, they, they they could do something pretty special in the World Cup. That might be great. Here's Lionel Messi. Probably his last World Cup, right? Did he officially announce that? I think it might be his last World Cup. Could go out with a bang. Could he go out with the Jules Rimet? That goes to Chase in Argentina. It's possible. I think it's not, it's not a long shot. I think they do have some pretty decent odds to do it. I think we'll have a lot of this World Cup related product being released this year. So it'll be a good time to kind of get into a little bit of soccer, diversify your, your hobby portfolio. And we've got some scripts autographed. Sergey uh, Nabry. Scripts auto for Mark N. Germany. Nice. Third and Shakiri. There's an Earl and Holland. Unfortunately, Norway not in the uh, World Cup. They were on the road to the World Cup. Kind of stumbled a little bit, but I want to say they're expanding the number of teams in the World Cup when it's here in North America four years from now. So there'll be a chance to see guys like him, Erlen Holland, for Norway. Both of those going to Todd. Got randomized Norway in this one. All right, second of three boxes, another three box random team break in the store. Check it out. Right next to me on my uh, on my phone, we got Thursday night football on. Broncos up three zero. Amazon Prime. This break brought to you by Amazon Prime. For the last World Cup, was Prism the only card release? You know, I don't remember. 
That was a long time ago. Dennis, what's the best soccer box to buy tops or panini? Uh, it depends on what you're chasing. Um, both of those companies have different licenses. So I want to say Panini has the, the FIFA license. In fact, they've been around, they're an Italian company. They've been around for a little while doing World Cup sticker books. Oh, there's Javi Alonso. Nice one. Nice autograph for Brian and Spain. Pretty good, great midfielder. So if you're looking for like these guys in their their country uniforms, their shirts, then Panini generally has those. And I think Tops will have some of the the big leagues. I think they have I think they have the they have UEFA Champions League. But I guess Panini has La Liga, then the EPL as well. I think Topps has a UEFA Champions League license, so yeah, just depends on what, what you're looking for. I think just in general, there's not a lot of soccer, there's more than before, but not a lot of soccer is printed on a yearly basis, so, and obviously these World Cup sets don't come around every year. So this is a good time to get into to any kind of soccer. Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. That's probably his last World Cup, too. That'll be for Chase. Let's see if we can find maybe something a little more especial for those players here. Nice Mukayo Saka right here, too. He might be one of the big names for England in this World Cup. Our second box, third box coming up. I believe it, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis was told that soccer products will probably be going up. Yeah, I believe it. And Mr. Firehawk saying, what, these boxes are already 50% more expensive on eBay? I believe it. And with the World Cup in, what, 45 days or so? Each day that goes by, as we get closer and closer, there will be more and more demand for these. So if you want to be a sharp collector, I mean, prices are going up. If you were sharp, if you are really sharp, you would have joined all of our soccer breaks over the spring and the, and the summer. But now I think people are getting wise to it. But still, better to get in earlier rather than, than later, especially at a, at a, at a premium cost. And keep checking jazbeescasebreaks.com for all the new soccer releases throughout the rest of this year and beyond. I think with the uh, with the way the soccer the World Cup schedule is, we were taking a glance at this the other day, yesterday, and we'll probably keep talking about it. But I don't think that there'll be a time where we will be watching soccer together, World Cup stuff together at the same time. All the matches will be kind of overnight when we're off air, but we'll have plenty to discuss though, plenty to recap during these soccer breaks.
Yeah, Dennis is like, just imagine when the World Cup starts up, how much there'll be. A lot. And even even beyond the World Cup as well, once it's done and we, you know, depending on who wins, you know, those those teams might, you know, the maybe the final four teams or whatever will still probably be pretty desirable. Especially if there's some surprises. I mean, I always look at the uh, the groups, and it always seems like it's going to go chalk, right? But it's never like that. There, there'll be a few groups where there'll be some surprises. There'll be a big club that doesn't make it out of the group. There's always some, uh, I don't know, always some kind of drama that happens with these national teams sometimes on the way to the World Cup. And the third and final auto of the break is is a midfielder for Spain, Yermi Pino. That goes to Brian Croft in Spain. Last spot mojo strikes again 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time, allegedly. That's what they say anyway. I guess that's what people say. I guess that's what people say. And there you go, gang. Nice little break there. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.